Hi, this is iTouchMax, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your iPod Touch 4th generation, these two right here, into an iPhone 4th generation. Now, first of all, these connect cannot connect to cellular networks or 3G, cannot make actual phone calls, and all you're going to need for this tweak is iFile, nothing else. So the one on the left doesn't have the streak, you see FaceTime icon, and music here, and no battery percentage in the corner. And this one has my tweak installed, has phone icon with the phone name and iPod here, and it is unified. It has a music and videos built in, videos here and music here. And if you go to settings, you can enable battery percentage by going to general, usage, and turning battery percentage on. So let's get started. Now first for this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get HDR on your iPod Touch camera, just like the iPhone 4. So you see the one without on the left without the hack applied, and the one on the right with the hack applied. Use a flash, which doesn't actually work as it doesn't have a flash, and an HDR feature, which actually works. Let's test out the HDR feature. We're going to take a picture of that device over there. HDR, you can see, is on. And we're going to take a picture, and it's going to actually take two pictures. I normally expose and underexpose and it will combine them together and you can see the image right there versus a non hdr one you can see a hdr tag right there press done there or you can use this one without hdr this has no tweak applied you can take a picture of that and you can see it takes only one picture so enough about me talking let's get into iFile and start editing the plus file so all you're going to need for this hack is iFile, you can download that via Cydia, all versions including the free one should work for this tweak. So you're going to go to the slash thingy, you go to library, private frameworks, right here, and celestial framework, so you can find it here, right here, and then you're going to go to N81, right here. Then from N81, you click on the first one, avcapture.plist, and it will open up a text viewer. So you're going to scroll most ways down until you see the key up here that says AV Capture from Facing Photo Capture Stream. You're going to click Edit, and you see Full Resolution Preview. You're going to go right below it, put spaces, one of these bracket things, right key, another bracket thing. And then put in capital letters H D -E R. And you're gonna write one of these bracket things, one of these slash things, like key again. I write another one of these. And write another bracket thing, write true. And write another slash, another bracket thing. And you're gonna click save. I click done. Because you're done with that file now. So what you're going to do now is go all the way back to the slash and go on heading system, library, core services, springboard.app. I'm going to scroll all the way down until you find n18.plist, which is right here. Click edit. So now that we're in .ap plist, you go to edit, and go to a line with other capabilities, capabilities right here, capabilities, and go here, I'm going to write bracket thing, I'm going to write key, and hdr, dash, image, capture, Make sure you have no capitals or else this will not work. Right here again, the bracket thing. And true. Another bracket thing. You're gonna make sure it looks exactly like that. And under it, right. Another bracket thing. Key. And right camera. Dash. Flash and right key again. Do a couple spaces, right, or something like that, and right true. 
done. Now make sure it looks exactly like that or else it will not work. I guarantee doing it like this will work. When you're done just hit save up here, click done, go home, and simply reboot or re well only reboot, no respring for this. So I'm going to put the video back on after I reboot this device. Okay, now the iPod are restarted. Let's launch camera on both of them. You can see they now both have HDR. And this HDR works just as well as that one's HDR. Take a picture. If this is the first time it's got an HDR, you can go look at the photo. It will ask you if you want to keep both photos. So I'm going to let's say yes to keep both photos. So just go to photos and flick that on. Now we're going to go back to camera. It has camera flash as well, but it doesn't actually work. Legs for a second. There's a camera flash type of thing, I guess. And the shutter kind of stays closed. It just freezes up. So it doesn't really do anything. But you can go back to camera and it's still perfectly functional. So that's HDR. Now for the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine this music app right here with the videos app right here into one single app like the iPod app on the iPhone. I'm going to go back into iFly to the slash, I'm going to go to system, library, core services, springboard.app, scroll all the way down to find n81.ps, there it is, click edit, go somewhere random, the right key, hopefully that isn't as uh, focused here. It is now focused. And right key. And right unify. Dash. iPod. I make sure it doesn't go to capitals. The right slash. Key again. And right return. And right for the one of these bracket things. Right true. Slash. And another slash or a bracket rather. Like right, save, done. And all you need to do is respring or restart your device, and this music app and this iPod app, or rather videos app will be combined into the iPod app. So I'll be right back in just a minute. Okay, I just restarted my iPod and I noticed that my music app is missing from the dock. I wonder where it went. And just scroll to the next screen and there it is. The videos app and the music app in one. I hit home and let's see what that looks like. You can see videos right here and songs is right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and get the battery percentage, the native Apple battery percentage, the exact same one from the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3 GS on your iPod Touch 4 generation. Let's get started.